Hi, I'm Jake Catro and I'm going to run the length of Europe. Welcome to Way Beyond. Who's going to carry the boats? I'm going to run from the north of Norway to the south of Spain. We are all about the running community and we want to inspire runners from all over ah. Europe to join us to start their Way Beyond journey. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is Way Beyond and we are running Europe together. Wakey wakey! <laughs> Let's go! It's race day! It's race day! It is the morning of the run. Um, it's 12 midnight. We're in the north of Norway, in Nordcap. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to embark on the biggest run I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I think most people in the, in the world actually. Um, and yeah, I'm going to run 75k tomorrow, the first one, and I'm buzzing. I do feel like it, I don't really know what I'm taking on yet, and maybe an advice to future Jake is something from my 200k run which is if you can walk then you can still go i think i'll say that to myself a lot um but yeah i think i want to see how today goes and then um i can start to see like how my body's reacting i haven't really exercised in the last three weeks because there's been a lot of project planning um, and driving up here has taken four days solid um so um yeah we're we're just gonna see how today goes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. It's time. It's time to go. I think I have everything. All right, let's do this. Way beyond running Europe together. Let's go. Okay. Who's gonna carry the boats? It was nice. I, like my only thing that's happened was uh, my knees are really cold. It's like a constant wind, so I had to give them a little rub earlier. tunnel so almost four kilometers long and it was just a nice one to drive through but not necessarily a nice one to run through just because it was just like light shadow light shadow light, like over and over again we're up 55 kilometers so um, today it's almost done Everyone's got a, uh, a headwind going that way. <laughs> Ooh. It's the morning. Good morning, Roy. Good morning. Beautiful. How are your legs? Oh. <laughs> they're stiff. Are they? Yeah. Well, they're not that bad, but my knees are stiff. 
You don't seem to be grinding too much. No, it's not that bad. I think today is going to be tough though. Mm. I think the plan is I'm going to try and go like slower today. Mm. I think mm. slower is the best plan. I think yesterday I was just so excited by the day, mm. you know. But um, I think today is like fuel. Mm. So just nail the fueling, you know, eat all the time. Totally. It'll be better. Yeah. Day two, 10K. Let's go. Yeah, good. Feeling nice. Better than I thought I was gonna oh, could do with this little bench right here. But two things for today is normal food for nutrition. Um, we're gonna go against the sports nutrition kind of rhetoric uh, because over the long run, the sports nutrition is gonna work against us. How was the first 10K? <laughs> This morning, I was very worried that um, I was going to really struggle for these first 10Ks. But to be honest, I've done quite well. I, like, it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. And I have an issue with my foot. That's the only thing that's causing an issue. Um, but I have solved that with a little bit of <laughs> this like um, m medical cotton. This is the good stuff. Listening to most joke music ever. What music? Just such a varied like drum and bass, fucking metal, just all over the place. How are you feeling there, Jake? Day two, almost a marathon in. Um, feeling a little low in energy. I I don't really know what's going on. I think we're trying to figure out this whole food, natural food situation, and it does mean that like you have lack of sugars, maybe. maybe. Um, so the last 10K have been quite challenging. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to figure it out. I think week one is going to be the the week that's difficult because it's just like learning how to keep going over multiple days and also fueling is very important but we'll get there slow and steady it was just that 10k was killing me just I couldn't get my rhythm right at all and I thought that fueling at the gas station was going to help which it did, I think. But I think it didn't have enough sugar in, whatever I had. So it ended up, I just was spacing out big time and I didn't know how to fix it. So I was like trying to push through mentally, but it didn't help. But then the San Pellegrino to the rescue. Oh my God. I had the, that orange drink and then I was like, Mr. Flash. So it's been good the last, this last time. Made it! Yes! Day two, 70. Let's go, go, go! Hey, yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> ready for bed, ready for a shower, ready for food. Better or worse than yesterday? Much better. Is it? Way better. 
Wow. That is a win right there. Tired, day three. Those last two days really took it out of me. I think today's gonna be maybe a shorter one, like strategically. Just need more time to recover. Today it's not the fitness, it's just more like the general pains everywhere. Just like my leg hurts, my knees hurt, my just my whole body hurts today. Feet hurt really bad. I just need to break through today. Need extra comfort? Double, double layers. See you Bye -bye. later. Take me home, take me on a ride. I got a good feeling about the colors. Big news! The first runner has joined! What's your name? Vemon. Vemon, nice to meet you. Thanks for joining. Oh my god, I needed this. How's it been? Mate, so much better now that the first runner is <laughs> I was literally dying uh, so bad earlier. Is it? Uh, I, was, it, I was walking a lot and then you just came around the corner with your bag and I was like, is he gonna run with me? And then he was like, let's go! <laughs> How did, did you hear about it before? I was, was a friend of mine. Right of our form? Yeah, just a, was like a friend of mine who uh, told me this guy was running. Okay. And I thought to myself like, uh, okay, cool. And then she messaged me today and I was like, okay, I should check where he is. And then I realized he's just a few uh, K, oh, Ks no away. Let's go and meet him. Wow. Yeah. So how many Ks have you guys done? I don't know. Uh, do do? Nah, not that many, just uh, six maybe? Yeah, I okay. Think so, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Needed. Yeah. So needed. I was walking and then I've actually been running the whole last, well, we did a couple walks. Powered by Powerade as well. Nice. Ooh. Some, uh, some Fanta. Yeah. Yeah. What good has he got? And when we got the van, it was like a complete mess. Really? Like the the previous renters had just left like the whole place in like a mess. Like there was just shit everywhere. Like the and the car company also just like didn't really bother to help us clean it or anything. Really? And like the the shutters were broken. Like to to close the light from mm -hmm. inside, uh, the shower head was also broken. Like literally everything that could be broken was broken and then um, we didn't really do like the final checks because there was so much to clean and so yeah. much to leave so uh, when when we did finally like leave we didn't really check that the the gas burner worked no because you because there was just that was going to be the thing that worked right yeah, yeah. and then we tried to use it on the first night and it was broken oh that's fun. Yeah. Good morning, Jake. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Nice, I'm good. Feeling better today? Yeah? Yeah. Day four. Day four. Yeah. Big turnaround from yesterday. Yesterday was such a rough start. Like, really, really rough. Um, just everything was hurting. Like, my body, my... Just my everything. Head legs, arms, shoulders um, but I did like look back at you guys when you drove past the car 
passed in the car, sorry. Um, and I was like, fuck, I really want you to pick me up and just put me in the back of the van because it was really, really like challenging at that moment. I got into the altar on the outskirts of altar and this guy just popped out from this side road. He caught me just in a, in a moment where I was just walking and kind of feeling sorry for myself. And it was mad, like, he gave me so much energy for the rest of the day. It was just like, like absolutely incredible. Like, I didn't think about any of my kilometers or anything and it shows, you know, like the power of like doing stuff together. And I think that's like something that even for someone like me who does things a lot on their own, um, it goes to show that like doing it together is actually like more than powerful, you know? Right, give me a little squeak. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Yo! Yeah. Giovanni's here! What's up? <laughs> We had like a really funny reindeer moment. Like the, the reindeer was like facing the opposite way, but like so still. Yeah. And I was trying to video, and then you were behind. And as he came by, like the reindeer was like, yes. like this, and like <laughs> freaked us both out, right? Yeah, it was, it was, yeah. I was really surprised. <laughs> In Finland, there were so many, and but they are always afraid of bicycles. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. This one, but. With this one, they are. Woo, fuck it! They <laughs> run somewhere. One in this direction, one in this direction. Oh, so funny. Yeah. But I mean, bike riding is my passion, and uh, in this beautiful nature, it's much easier to. Yeah, if I'm alone with me and met some people and talk to each other, so yeah, I can find myself better and um, yeah, meditation and everything like that is yeah, yeah good for me. And you're, you're traveling solo, obviously. Yeah, solo for nine weeks now. Okay. I think 6,000 kilometers now. No, five and a half. Five and a half. Wow. Today has just been a whole different type of running. I've been in like a super flow state like the whole day and I've not really thought about anything other than just running. So sometimes you just click and today that has happened. Here's the Fanta. Fucking hell. That's it, that's fine. Oh, it's hot today, man. Fucking hell. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. All right. I'll try to put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer for a bit, I yeah. Think about it. How are you doing? Man? Doing good. 43 kilometers. Yeah. So, a marathon today. Feeling really good. Just been in the zone all day. It has been like 27 degrees though, so it is super hot. And no shade at all. Um, and I'm just covering myself in every river water that I can <laughs> go by, it's so nice. <sighs> All right, we have the third joiner with us, Noah. Where are we, Noah? Uh, this is a uh, little village called uh, Longfjordbotten. Longfjordbotten. <laughs> it's the hottest day of the year. 
Absolutely. Does it ever get this hot? Never, never run around <laughs> this kind of heat before. Never. I we're getting like crazy right now. Racing heat. We're both gonna get burnt, but life is good. Go. 50k. 50. And that's a wrap, folks. We've just put together a few days of footage just to document our trip. We're gonna do this as much as we can. Just so you understand, we are mobile in the van editing as we go. So we'll put together what we can and I hope you've enjoyed it. Get in touch with us if you have any other questions and like and follow if you like this content. Feel free to give us some suggestions or some answers to questions that you might have. See you next time. Let's go way beyond.